So we have had the worst imaginable morning. It has been pouring it down with rain. All of our chairs and tables were outside and they were all wet, muddy. We had to try and pack up. We were late leaving the campsite. It was just constant chaos. We were both stressy. We were both in a mood. It's been a horrible morning, but to combat that, we found out we were near Ikea and we've just had some meatballs and all is well in the world once again. But now we're heading to Decathlon to go and get some small camping bits that we need to get. For example, some pegs for the awning that we don't have and just have a little look in there. We're at some sort of shopping industrial estate. There's lots of shops. They've got Primark, <laughs> they've got Ikea, they've got it all. Oh, there's camper vans over there. Hopefully there's a space big enough. We've just been to Decathlon and got some pegs for the awning. We, we wanted to go to town, but we weren't sure about parking. I think we're moving back to Ikea, are we? Yeah, we're going back to I Ikea car park and there's no parking limit. So we're going to just get the bus to town from here rather than paying for parking in the centre. We have left the van in Ikea car park and we're on the way to find the bus. And there's actually blue sky for the first time in what feels like a while now. We just had a coffee and we're going to wander around the old town a little bit. It's so great that it stopped raining. I mean, it's a bit grey still, but we're going to try and enjoy it while we can because I think it is going to rain again. What do you think? I think I'm hungry. Uh, food critic, dark. <laughs> Currently next to Butcher's Bridge, which is right beside Libyana Central Market, been selling local delicacies for the Yonks. And we're at a restaurant that buys all their food from the market. Oh, Sourcing all their veg, fish and meat. Shop local. We're next to Butcher's Bridge, which is also known as Lover's Bridge, because it's filled with padlocks and love notes. And people all around the world coming to the Butcher's Bridge. <laughs> to show their love. Bon appetit. Stop it. Well, when you have such a rubbish morning, you better treat yourself to a fine steak. Um, it's nice. Mm. Good? Really nice. So I got the healthier. And I got lamb shank. Just finished our meal at the most restaurant and I am feeling full but I'm not full enough as we're heading to a locally recommended artisan gelato ice cream shop. Which is about five minutes walk this way. And we to get there we've got to go past the UNESCO Triple Bridge, most famous in Ljubljana town. So here we are at the Triple Bridge. One, two, three. That's what it says on the tin, triple. Now off for my triple scoop, ice cream. <laughs> Here's a nice view of the Libyana Castle we went to yesterday. I think I've been, but admired it from afar. Oh, admired it from close. Oh, we admired it from the outside. It's a 
fancy cone. Yeah. I like to go for tubs, and Dom likes to go for cones always. You've got a special fancy yeah, I've got one. Yeah, special one. Cost extra, but I'm worth it. How much was it? Actually, one euro seventy. I think. What for the? The cone. Oh. Meant so the, I, I meant the whole ice cream. I don't know. I think they're about eight. It's about eight euro. <laughs> It's not, it's not the cheapest ice cream. Yeah, but so it looks very good. I hope so. We've got Thai coconut and I got Sicilian almond cream with Amaretti's biscotti or something. Okay. And uh, got some kind of hazelnut chocolate cone. And Emma's got opted yeah, for. Yeah, I got straight chocolate and Thai coconut. I really like just like the really intense coconut flavour. Good? Well, certainly creamy. And it's funny because you can sort of taste like biscotti in it, like biscuit. What is biscotti? The hairdresser biscuit? No, it's Italian biscuit. Yeah, the, head, the one you get in the hairdresser. No, that's biscotti. Oh. What's <laughs> doing? I haven't tried the coconut yet. Yeah. That's a nice flavour. Onto the cone. I thought Dom's most of the way through it and I still can't. No, you eat abnormally slow. Yeah, and you eat abnormally fast. <laughs> there's Dom and there's the castle we went to yesterday. It's not quite high. So there's actually a little right under the bus stop. So we just ran in before the bus arrived in 10 minutes and it's running late so got out just in the nick of time two minutes to spare so we've made it back to the van after getting a bus and what started as a terrible day turned out to be quite a good day actually and it's now 6 p.m. and we're gonna make our way to the park up for the night <laughs> so we managed to stay somewhere free for the night thanks to Natasha Hi. and Rock who gave us their drive for the night for free. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we've just been we've just been for a coffee with them and uh, that's why we didn't get a vlog out last night because we've just been chatting all night and catching up and getting to know each other. And <laughs> no, it was fun. We had a lot of fun here getting to know you guys and yeah, now we're going to head off to Lake Bled because it's finally stopped raining <laughs> and it's super sunny. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. We just went to the campsite at Lake Bled and it's like the perfect campsite. Right at the best view of the lake, you can go swimming there and it's fully booked so we're really gutted. We have to go to just a camper van car park. Look at that view! It's literally got the best view of the little island bit as well so really gutted about that. If you're coming here book this campsite. It's the only campsite on the lake. So, gutted. Yeah, so it's mid-season, so it's 25 euros a night, but we, it, the machine doesn't give change, so we're going to find a shop to see if we can change this 10 euro up. So, But it's actually the same with the camping card discount. It's the same price there that it would have been at the campsite, so yeah. it got, makes it worse, really. last a day in our van. We have secured the fiver. So we paid with a 20 euro but then they gave us 14 back so we still didn't have enough. So we asked the lady at the till for some change and initially she said no but I was a bit more persistent asking we for coins <laughs> saying please I have nowhere to sleep tonight. So we've made it, we're all plugged in and it's not quite the campsite but it will do. It looks like it's got Wi-Fi here as well and 
to be honest I should hope so for this price. £25 for just a little parking space, there was a 30 minute walk to the centre, I mean and that's not even the really nice part of the lake. It's so annoying because the campsite was in literally the best part of the lake with the best view. Either way, we're so happy to be here. It's still super, super beautiful. We just obviously had to drive around the lake to get here and I'm really excited to go and, and look around the lake and, and go for a walk around it. It looks absolutely incredible. We had such a great time talking with Natasha and Rock and getting to see their dog and their cats. We had, yeah, a really nice sleep on their drive and, huh? Why don't you try that app? see about if it's level or not oh yeah okay Dom, Dom's getting the levelers out because we're a little bit arse up in this space so we need to get the levelers under the wheels at the front I just uh, hooked the electric up just got it leveled and then we're just about to go out and then it starts chucking it I was saying to him we should leave it so it's a bit more sunny but everyone was like oh no we should go now and then so it just started pouring so luckily I was I got drenched again well drenched we did buy umbrellas now so we can't you can't be like oh i'm not gonna go out we can use but the umbrella is that, i mean it is, raining. it is raining no. quite a lot there's patches of blue sky and then there's patches of this so you said it's supposed to stop at five yeah, it's meant to be sunny and cloudy at five o'clock so hopefully we can go out then tomorrow's meant to be sunny and cloudy so hopefully no rain tomorrow. We'll have to get up get early. Up. Yeah, and Emma out. says that and then she wakes up at midday. You are so bad in the morning. I get up at seven, waiting. This hill. <laughs> well, look, look, these people, that they thought, you know what, bugger it. They've got their TV area up. They're there for the evening. Yeah, and that's what you want to do. He wants to get the TV going and just sit in bed. No. But we're at, we're at probably one of the prettiest places in the world. Yeah, not we can't just sit not inside. Not when it's chucking it down the rain, it's not. Yeah, right. Well, we'll go out soon. We'll go I mean, out. The, the, there's the odd bit of like. I can see blue sky over there. There's the odd like drop of rain, and then there's chucking it. So seeing as it's raining, I mean, it's just getting worse and worse right now. Uh, hopefully, it clears up soon. But Natasha very kindly gave us loads of bread. And, Which and she was gifted from a, a neighbour, I think, or a no, customer? No, no, a customer, because she's, she's a seamstress. We've got loads of bread, two different types of bread. And Dom's just made a little sandwich for himself mm -hmm. well, with some tomato sandwich. and cheese that we just bought from the shop. Top. God. It looks good. Uh, but they also gave us these treats. These are apparently the biscuits that everyone eats here. And we're already apparently they're from the making, Balkans. Making our way through them, they're very good. It's like a biscuit with chocolate on the back. Relatively simple, but they're just really, really tasty. They all come in different shapes. Mm, they're all different shapes, but you get loads in the box. And they've got a good name too. Dom. Doma. Domakia. Domachia. I'm not sure how you would say that. <laughs> mm. Starts with Dom though. They're, everything here says Dom. There's just the word Dom written on everything, and I googled it and it said it means house or home or something, so that is why it's everywhere. But they also got <laughs> also got us the oh, I wiped myself in the head uh, these smoked peanuts. They look like Watsits if you look at the bag. They're called they're baked smoky. in sunflower oil, fresh. Oh, is there something on my neck? It looks like pouring up my neck. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, we woke up at five in the morning. Well, oh, I woke up. Well, Emma woke I woke up, up at go five to the in the toilet. morning to go to the toilet. Of course. And we have a camping chair that was it was in the it was in front of this side door, wrapped in a plastic bag in a bin bag because it was wet from the rain. And I I heard something rustling in it, and I genuinely thought there was a mouse in it. I was like woke Dom up, and I was like we have to throw this chair out. I the said I said van. it wasn't in there. But Emma wouldn't have it. Well, I we've had mice in a kitchen before um, when we were in a flat and it literally sounded identical to when they were rustling in the kitchen cupboards and I was so convinced there was a mouse. So Dom woke up and booted it out that door. You were terrified because you literally... <laughs> wasn't terrible, I was going to go to bed. Out. Anyway, back to snackies. No, but anyway, Natasha woke up a lot earlier than us and took her dog out and she saw this chair and she took the bag off of it and set it to dry and she found this gigantic beetle in it so which which gave her a fright 
So I did hit something. I heard the beetle climbing around Not in the bag. The Luckily, it wasn't a mouse. Because well, it was, that if it was a, a mouse, it would have got out of the bag. There's no way it would have stayed in there. Yeah. Anyway, so on to the oh, baked just wants peanuts. To eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. They do smell peanutty. Oh, that's good because they are. It smells like peanut butter. Mmm. Oh, what's that cereal? They literally taste like. What's that cereal you can peanut get? Peanut butter, what's it? Yeah, it's like peanut butter. But what's that cereal you can get? That's what it reminds me of. What cereal? The cereal you. I can just, oh. Like puffs. Oh, good. Like sugar puffs. Sugar puffs. Yeah, actually. It's, it's like a sugar puff, like sugar but puffs. peanut. Peanut puffs, that's what they should have called them. Yeah, Wait, they're just like what's it? Mmm. Yeah, nice. They're nice. Mm. Apparently you wouldn't think that it was a red peanut in, it, in Slovenia. Yeah, apparently these are like the the snack everyone eats. And I can see why they are actually really nice. They're quite Moorish as well. And got a nice big bag. Yeah, I'm sure that won't stay there long. <laughs> Same with the biscuits. Yeah, thank you, Natasha and Rock. For all the goodies. Steven so gave me the this box to keep the bread in. Keep it fresh. Because I wasn't sure where I was going to put it, but this baguette kind of bread looks really nice. Maybe I'll have this one. You've got that one. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't get one. a look in the other one. Well, it smells really in. fresh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what? So thanks for watching, and in the next video, we're going to have a proper look at Lake Bled. So see you then. Bye. Bye.